Well, if you haven't heard, KU football is 5-0, and ESPN's College Game Day crew will be in Lawrence for the first time ever on Saturday. The Jayhawks are taking on Big 12 rival TCU, but this matchup is going to look a little bit different than it has in previous years. Kansas moved into its first top 25 ranking in over a decade, coming in at number 19 on this week's AP poll, while TCU, on the other hand, is ranked 17th overall in the country after its huge win over Oklahoma this past weekend. Now, this weekend's matchup is going to be the first game in Lawrence to feature two top 20 teams since October of 2008, which was almost exactly 14 years ago. At that time, Kansas was number 19 again, so that's kind of odd, and they were playing host to number eight, Texas Tech. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of excitements around in Lawrence right now among the students in the community and just everyone is getting ready for college game day to be here. The players are excited too, of course, but they're staying focused on what's important this weekend and preparing for Saturday. That stuff is cool and the national attention is fun, but uh, it, it doesn't make a difference for us. It's not like like we're, uh, we're a part of the game day uh, activities or anything like that. You still gotta get off that bus and play some football. Coming into it, we know that we have to be a more dominant and physical team, and we gotta show that we, we can run with speed and win. The Jayhawks will need to be locked in to take on this undefeated TCU squad on Saturday. The Horned Frogs are 4-0 and on the year right now, and their offense have been has been putting up similar numbers to that of KU's. So needless to say, both teams are absolutely prolific powerhouses when they have the ball in their hands. But with that being said, TCU is averaging 48 points per game compared to KU's 41, but they're also putting up over 500 yards of offense per game, and both those point and yardage totals are leading the Big 12 right now. KU's defense showed up and showed out against Iowa State's rolling offense here on Saturday, so they'll have to channel that same energy if they want to take home a win and improve to 6-0 on the year this weekend. Now, college game day is coming to town. A lot of fans are planning to be in the booth, so I couldn't imagine a better environment for these guys to take on a conference rival this weekend.